out. Um, the link is on the page on Hybrid Bible Study on Facebook and also follow Hybrid our lives. Give us understanding on how to make a difference at work. God, give us a word for our, our everyday life, not just for a Sunday word or not just a Monday word, God, but give us a word for our lives, God. A word that the enemy cannot snatch from us when we walk out these doors. A, a word that the enemy can't take from us when we're not around other believers. A, a word that the enemy can't take from us when we're no longer hyped up by music. And, and, and we might face a few kinks and a few uh, problems or situations with hybrid, but we're going to work out these problems, so if you're not able to join in or has to miss it, be a line drawn, it it. room for him, and bringeth him before great men. So, a man's gift, we all have a gift, whether your gift is singing, dancing, encouraging people. Uh, some people have the gift of gab, they can talk to anybody. Uh, if your, your gift may be uh, drawing, your gift may be on your job. You stand out for everybody else because you're gifted and your gift makes room for you. That's why when you, when you, you, this person over here may be good at singing, but when you come in the room, they be like, yo, she can sing, but she can sing. Your gift is unapologetic. It doesn't ask anybody for permission to be great. It just great all by itself. So your, your, the scripture says that your gift will make room for you. So everybody has that same capability. My gift makes room for me. Your gift makes room for you. Your gift, your gift, your gift. Everybody gifts makes room for you. It's, it's almost what you're saying. So your gift acts as transportation for you. It takes you from point A to point B. Now, now you, you wonder like, okay, where's he gonna go with this undisciplined stuff? Gifted, but I'm undisciplined. So everybody is gifted, but everybody is not disciplined. That's the, that's the point. That, that's a good post. He ain't taking no notes. <laughs> but I'm this, everybody got a gift, but everybody's not this. So that's what we're gonna talk about after we finish that. It, it brought me before gay men. So, so I had to say, for example, I had the ability to sing then, and I was putting videos on YouTube to, of me singing then, and 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 somebody discovered me, and, and and now I'm in Hollywood. I'm signing contracts. So my gift it did two things for one. It made so naturally, we, when something like that happens, it kind of shuts you down. Like, what you mean, though? No. What you mean, no, my discipline? And, and these are small things, but God was showing me something. He said, "Well, sometimes you're late for work. You, you. Sometimes you you drive into your car. It's almost on E before you put gas in it. Sometimes you 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 wake up too late to make up your bed. So you just you don't want to be excellent at that. We just want to be good enough for Sunday service." But in order to go out into this world and really have dominion and power, we must operate in excellence. Because anybody, anybody can go out in the world and be good and you won't stand out. But if a person goes out and becomes excellent, you now represent the spirit of